Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over Macaulay's Master Core PS2 USB game loader. Um, it is available for 10.50. I know a lot of people have been asking me, should you go ahead and update to the 10.50? Well, if you're on 10.01 and you already have the game installed, um, I would recommend staying on that actual firmware. There's no need to do the update to 10.50. Um, I would just disconnect from the internet, leave it as it is, and you can go ahead and load all your PS2 games that, uh, that are compatible. We're going to jump into the video pretty quick here. Um, just so everybody knows, there is some USB devices that don't work. There is some that do work. It is uh, trial and error right now, I believe. Uh, there's, there's no actual list. There's a few lists for the PS2, and I was kind of going off that to see if I could uh, come up with a solution here. But uh, yeah, you just got to try what you have. We do have a few here I'll list off that you can go ahead and uh, order. They're pretty cheap, 9 10 bucks. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it now. I've already went ahead and made the, the files. You can go ahead and jump over to my Twitter. I'll also leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download these here. Um, as you can see, it's for 9.00, 10.01, and 10.50. Um, the other ones are available as well, the uh, lower firmwares. People have been asking for the PS5 version. Currently, the PS5 is not ready at this time. Um, but certainly when it does come available, I will make the save file. So we'll jump right into it here, guys. Let me just uh, jump over here. Go ahead and back up here. Um, as you can see, I'm Macaulay's uh, uh, GitHub here. The way the USB device works is you'll need to go ahead and make a games folder and then make a, a folder with the name of the game and then put the ISO in there. Um, it also supports the config files as well. Um, if so, if you're having issues with the game, you can go ahead and create the config file. Um, if it does cause problems with the config file, you can always go ahead and delete it. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that as well. Um, we'll just go over these USB devices really quick here, guys. So you can see Macaulay's using the Ultra Flare, which is this one right here. It is a USB 3.0. I do recommend if you're going to go ahead and buy one to get a 3.0, just because it's a lot quicker than the 2.0. Um, as for the space, 64 gigabytes is the maximum that we know of right now. If you do use a bigger one and it is working, uh, let us know in the comments below which one that you're using, and we'll make sure that uh, everybody gets uh, notice of that there. Um, as for Modern Warfare, this is the one that he's using. It is a 2.0. So it's a little bit slower, um, but if you're not in any big rush, go ahead and order that one as well. Um, but I will leave links in the description for these here. Um, so the one that I just went and ordered here, um, as you can see, um, Wozen has been, he was up all night yesterday. Uh, I think he has about 30 different USB devices, just trying everyone to see if he can figure out um, one that would work. But he did manage to uh, pull this one out and try it, and it worked. Now, it is a pretty cheap one. Uh, if we jump over to uh, here, as you can see, I ordered it. As soon as he told me that it worked, I was like, $14, I'll go ahead and order it. Um, that's Canadian, so US would probably be $10, I guess. But, uh, yeah, as, as for the size, we just know that 64 gigabyte is the one that's working. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video here, guys. We need to uh, get our USB device ready. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is open up Rufus. Now you can use Windows Explorer, but uh, Rufus is pretty quick, easy to download. It's just an EXE file to throw it on your desktop. No install. It's good to go. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Um, but as you can see, it is a 4 gigabyte, the one that I'm currently using. This is just an old one that I found that uh, surprisingly works. Uh, none of the other ones I do have work. Um, so we'll go ahead and select non-bootable. And we want to make sure it's a master boot record here. Um, so if it's GPT, it's not going to work. So just make sure that's selected. And then from here, we'll go into the file system and select XFAT. Uh, don't worry about the cluster size. Default is good. Just go ahead and hit start there. It may give you a message to pop up, a warning message. Just go ahead and hit OK or yes to it. Just because we will have to, uh, we'll have to format it to make sure that it is uh, XFAT as well as master boot record. So we'll go ahead and hit OK there. Shouldn't take very long, as you can see, it goes pretty quick. So we'll put this over here for now. Now I went ahead and I downloaded the, uh, the file. The one I'm using is um, 
10 point or yeah 10.01 like I said if you don't need to update to 10.5 just keep it where it is you're good to go so we'll close that out we'll open up our save wizard and we'll accept now if you don't have save wizard that is fine leave a comment in down below I'm sure someone will uh, will do it for you so we'll go ahead and select over to resign we'll import our zip file which is right here and then we have the two versions the US version as well as the European I'm using the US so we'll go ahead and select that hit import and OK select stretch and apply let that go shouldn't take very long uh, it just uploads to the server then goes ahead and uh, resigns it and downloads it to the USB device I don't know if I can slide this over or not. No, nope, I cannot. So we'll need to have to uh, wait for that. But uh, as you can see, it goes pretty quick here. Download the save. And there we go. Just about done. Okay, so we'll hit OK there. Once that is done, we can go ahead and close out of there. I will leave a link in the description for Save Wizard 2. Uh, you can do a lot more things with it than just resign one save. You can add cheats to any game that you want uh, if you're into that there kind of stuff. So now we have the USB built. We'll go ahead and select it. And as you can see, we have our PS4 folder that was already created from just copying over the save. So go ahead and delete these two files. We don't need those. Uh, hit the delete. Say yes. And uh, we'll go into the USB device that I built here. As you can see, if we go and do the X route, it already has the folders created for you. So you can just go ahead and select them and drag them over. Go ahead and close them. So in the alpha folder, we have our network loader. So if you still want to use the network loader, that is fine. But if you want to go ahead and use the game loader, the game or the USB loader, it is there as well. So we'll back out of here and we'll go into our games folder. Now I just created a folder with game name and then ISO here. Um, I already have a clone here, so we don't really need that. You can create as many folders as you want. Um, put as many games on there as you want as well. It's just uh, it's just a matter of the space you have. As you can see, I only have four gigs. Uh, Kelowna is, uh, I think it's a gig and a half, maybe. Yeah, 1.2 gigs. So it's fairly small. So while that's copying over, what we're going to do is get into the configuration part of this here. Now, you can add the configuration. If you start having problems, maybe delete the configuration. You might even be able to play the game without uh, even having the configuration. But for the video, I will show you how to get the configuration loaded up. So as you can see, the configuration, this is how it is uh, how it's worded. Just the uh, title ID and then underscore CLI. For that there particular one. So if we go into PS2 Classic Emulator Compatible List. Uh, we just do a control F and type it in. It'll come up here. We'll go ahead and select it. And as you can see, it is here. Um, as you can see, it's CLI. So make sure that you pay attention to that there. Um, as you can see down here, this is a LUA. So it would have to be worded different with the, uh, the config file. So we'll go ahead and select that. And just hit copy. We can minimize that. Still copying over. Does take a little bit. This is where the USB 2.0 comes in and the USB 3.0. You have a uh, lot quicker transfer rate. So we'll open up our search here and we'll select Notepad. We'll go ahead and paste that in. And we'll just go in here and just rename this here. Should be able to rename it while it's copying. And we just want this part right here. And we'll go ahead and save this. Save as. Go into our USB, game folder, game folder name. We're going to go ahead and select all files because we do not want to save as a text file. So just make sure that you do that. Uh, underscore CLI dot conf. Go ahead and hit save. And we should have it in there now. Did I save it in the right place? Okay. I don't know what happened there, but... Uh, Yeah, it's there. I don't know what. Not coming up here. Shouldn't be. Oh, just had to hit refresh. Little glitch with uh, Windows 11, I guess. I don't really know why that didn't 
come up like that. But uh, yeah, just make sure it's there. Uh, we're still copying over. Um, like I said, USB 2.0 does take a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, once this is copied over, we can go ahead and jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go over to our settings. We'll go down to system. I'll show you that I am on 10.01. As you can see, system software 10.01. So we'll back out of there. Oh, we'll stay in settings. We'll just jump down to our application save data management. Save data on USB storage device, and then we'll copy it over to our system storage. Go ahead and select it, and hit copy. And we'll just overwrite our existing. Say yes to it. Go ahead and back out of there. So now that we have it opened, go ahead and open up OKage. It does take a few minutes here to load, but uh, like I said in the uh, in the past, stay on the 10.01. A lot of people asking, should I update to 10.5? You're not going to get any other features. Um, another question was, uh, some games don't work. Yeah, you just just trial and error. There is a compatible list. I will leave a link for that as well. But uh, once you do get in here, just go ahead and hit your uh, spacebar button, I guess it's called, or touchpad button. And we'll go ahead and restore the game. Okay, so there's our first message there. So do we want to load the network game loader? We'll say no to that one. And our next one will be the USB, so we'll go ahead and say yes to that. And there's our Kelowna 2 game, so we'll go ahead and say yes to that. And we'll let it go. Now, it does take a little bit to transfer over. As I said, uh, USB 2.0 is a little bit slower than the 3.0, but uh, we'll just let that go. Okay, so we're just about done there, 100%. And as you can see, the game does load up. So we'll just go ahead and just get into it, um, just so you can show that, uh, so you can see that does come up. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Just want to uh, jump on and show you how to use that. Once uh, we do get a update for the PS5 6.5, as well as the, the newest firmware, which is 7.00, I will certainly make the save files, but uh, we'll just, uh, just a waiting game. It will come. Just give it time. But I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.